Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of 30 Years in the Making. We are reviewing Wrestlemania 4, which is, um, yeah, let's review it. Right, I'm going to run down it. As always, I'm going to be looking at the iPad because I... Because he's retarded. I don't like old school, <laughs> but... Okay, so, Wrestlemania 4, we're in the Trump Plaza. Um, mm -hmm. We got told that a million times tonight. Yeah, and you can see that. Fucking sign everywhere. You know you're in this Trump Plaza. Right? Yeah. Um, just as a backstory to this WrestleMania, um, this is the WrestleMania in which we get 16 matches. 16 matches. 14 man tournament for the WWF title. The reason that it's vacant is because um, last year's WrestleMania we had Andre the Giant against Hogan. They faced off at um, the first ever Saturday night main event. Uh, in which Andre the Giant won the title, but he immediately gave the title to Ted DiBiase, who paid him for the title. Mm -hmm. um, and then WWF Commissioner, I want to say at the time, Jack Tunney. Uh, no, Jack, uh, WWE President. President Jack Tunney at the time um, vacated the title, and that's the reason why we have this tournament. Yeah. Okay, but we didn't start with the tournament, we started with a battle royale. Um, in which um, basically we're going to be running through this because this is not really newsworthy. This whole WrestleMania. This WrestleMania was just too long. Yeah, Bad News Brown Sorry. wins a battle royal that happens to have the Heart Foundation in. That's mm. about as exciting as this battle. Complete royal, clusterfuck basically with this battle royal. Yeah, uh, I got a bit interested at the end when you had was it John, 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 JYD, Bret Hart, and uh, Bad News Brown and Barrett. <laughs> um, they they basically teamed up and then mm. Brad this Brown sweet hits a sweet insecurity which is probably the highlight of the match and then it just and peaked. Brett turned face and Brett turned face yeah yeah um, then we got Ted DiBiase with Virgil and Andre the Giant uh, with him um, beating Jim Duggan in four minutes and fifty four seconds mm. um, just so just got basically every the first round matches. They were basically there was too many matches on this card and yeah. the matches have been too short. They're all between five and ten minutes. There Some was... have been shorter. They've been a lot of the matches were too you couldn't get into them. So yeah. if we run through the results for the first round. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, just this is how what they were like. There were sixteen matches on this card. Yeah. Four matches were more than five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was like. Right. First round, basically, as James will go, we'll literally go through it trying to make sure that I know which ones are the first round because I didn't put down the first round. Brutus, um, Don Morocco defeated Dino Bravo in but 4 minutes 53 seconds. In the battle of the steroids. In the battle of the steroids. <laughs> Don Morocco has managed to get even it more bigger. He's huge. Um, <sighs> Greg Valentine in an upset defeated Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in, in 9 minutes 12 yeah. seconds. That was half decent that match. Yeah. Um, Randy Savage defeated Butch Reed in 5 minutes and 7 seconds. Um, and One Man Gang defeated um, Bam Bam Bigelow in 2 minutes 56 seconds by count out, which was awful because Bam Bam Bigelow was on the ring apron and he still yeah. managed to get counted out. It didn't and make the ref sense. even saw it. That was just... Yeah, awful. It's just... Oh, I don't know what to say about this. Um, and then we had... Oh no, and then we had another... I think that's the first round match. Rick Rude and Jake the Snake Roberts did, fought yeah. to a 15 minute time limit draw. That was a half decent match. Uh, yeah. But um, he had the usual bit at the end though where Jake the Snake got Damien out. and. Yeah. Um, then we took a break from the tournament in which we got to see the WrestleMania debut of the Ultimate Warrior defeating Hucky Bees. But that was pretty cool I guess because I've not seen a lot of Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, except for the fact so... that this match, this was an Ultimate Warrior match that lasted Four minutes. minutes. Squash, but at okay. the time, Hercules still had that. Was still represented as quite a strong character. So I know, but you don't have, have the Ultimate Warrior minutes. in a match for four minutes. You have him in two minute matches. There's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, then we went back into the tournament, in which we got Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant fighting to a double DQ in five minutes twenty two seconds. Well, I say Andre the Giant. It was Harold Steptoe. Um, yeah, and then we got. Ted DiBiase, this is all second round, so quarterfinals, I think it was. Yep. Um, Ted DiBiase defeated Don Morocco in 5 minutes 44 seconds. Mm -hmm. The steroid guy's out. Um, <laughs> Randy Savage defeated Greg Valentine in 6 minutes and this, 6 seconds. This was a decent match. It was better than the others. It was, yeah, yeah. It was just above. 
Um, and then we took a break out of that to have the IC title match, which was Brutus Beefcake defeating Honky Tonk by disqualification in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. But of course, Honky Tonk manages to keep the IC belt. Mm. Uh, this match was a was actually, even though it wasn't a great quality match, it was a breath of fresh air from the tournament. The Just anything really to, start yeah. to Really starting to drag now. Um, we then got the Islanders and Bobby Heenan defeating the Bulldogs and Coco Beware in mm. 7 minutes and 30 seconds. This match never got going. It was very disappointing because the Islanders were a decent team. They could go. And with the Bulldogs in there, they should have had much better chemistry. But the whole match was built around Bobby Heenan, that stupid <laughs> jacket, and obviously trying to not get bit Matilda. by Matilda. Yeah. I love Matilda. Too gimmicky. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Matilda's dead. Um, and then the only semi-final match because because Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant drew. Yeah. Ted DiBiase is straight away in the goes, final. Goes by. Um, so Randy Savage defeated One Man Gang by disqualification in four minutes five seconds. So, so Randy Savage against Ted DiBiase <laughs> is the final. Um, then we had Demolition defeating Strike Force for the tag team belts in twelve minutes and thirty three seconds. That's right. Demolition had the second longest match in re- in this WrestleMania, and the legendary team that is Strike Force, bro. Yeah, Demolition, aka Kiss, managed Kiss. to win the tag team titles, and then we went on to the final, in which we had Randy Savage against Ted DiBiase. Um, Randy Savage defeated Ted DiBiase for the WWF title in nine minutes twenty-seven seconds. But the problem with that is that wasn't the focus of the match. No. You had Andre the Giant and you had Hulk Hogan on the outside. Hulk Hogan was all over this match like nobody's business. Mm-hmm. And you you've it would you would have been forgiven to forget that it was Randy Savage that won the belt and not all, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, all the yeah. heat was not on him. Yeah. Um It's oh. just it's just an awful WrestleMania. This, this WrestleMania is too long. Too many matches. Too many matches. But this this is why tournaments don't work. If you go back through the history of like I don't know if in the past, like you look at the Survivor series with the tournament just any tournaments on paper. Deadly game tournament. You're talking the deadly about. game tournament. Oh yeah. my god, that was awful. Well, but they do one tournament well. It's, it's King of the King Ring. Ring. Yeah, but that's even spaced out. Yeah. But then it's cause got that's in part of storyline. But this was just all crammed into one, and it was just a long to watch. Mm. I'd lost interest probably on my third match on the card, man. Yeah, which which done. doesn't help because you got Randy Savage and Ricky Steam. Yeah. Ricky Steamboat went out in the first round. Mm-hmm. The Why matches. The problem with tonight was the matches were just. Too short. Yeah, there should have been half Too as many short. matches and better booking. Yeah. Which is obviously what happens later yeah, on. You couldn't get into the matches because once no. you started getting into it, it was like. But when it's some of the guys as well, everyone just. The wrestlers tonight, up and down the car, just. I don't know, no one clicked. It was forgettable, one, wasn't it? Oh, God. This WrestleMania. Looking back from when we were getting buzzed about WrestleMania 3 saying, yeah, WrestleMania magic and everything's like. Yeah. We're buzzing again. This was freaking. We lost all the magic again. Apart from like, obviously the appearance, of the entrances, people we get up for like obviously Randy Savage is the Ultimate Warrior coming out and Hogan. Apart from that, it was all. Yeah, I mean you did have the one WrestleMania moment and that was Andre the Giant grabbing that fucking annoying guy. I can't even oh, remember God. his name um, by the throat and shaking. Mr. Baseball, him. what was his name? Oh, oh, Urkaros. Uh, Urkel. It was Urkel. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Vanna, Vanna White as well. Oh. She was fucking I'm having a awful. great time. <laughs> but basically, in, in between like each end of each round, um, Howard Finkel would go back to his backstage segment with this bird called Vanna White and they'd talk, talk about what she thought about each of the matches and each of the superstars. Man, she didn't have a fucking clue who anyone She looked was. bored stiff, she looked a bit nervous and then suddenly she'd be putting on this big smile because the camera yeah. was on her. Who was that guy who looked somewhere between Hulk Hogan and Dude Love? He's a weirdo. That was superstar he's Billy weird. Graham. He's, a, he's Oh no, um, are you talking about Ted DiBiase? No, no, superstar Billy the... Graham. Oh, okay, yeah, superstar Billy Graham. And he's Billy got Graham. like the tie-dye top, yeah. it looks like. Do you know? and loads of people look like so many other people though in this one, yeah. didn't they? I think yeah. this thing is the weird thing with this WrestleMania is you've got so many old veterans that are hanging about still and a lot you can see a lot of where that next generation of the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, got their influences from yeah. them guys. Really, yeah. really funny. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I find it still strange that we're looking back and we're seeing Bret Hart on the opening match. Yeah. That's weird. And this yeah. is just like, I mean, this I mean, this is just hard now. This hasn't aged well at all, this WrestleMania, man. This one hasn't got the magic. This one hasn't got the great match on it. It's just... Phrase of the night? 
It's got to be. <laughs> what was it? I talk about guys with bodies. <laughs> you know, because we don't like to talk about yeah. guys without no, bodies. No, was it like, I like guys the, with bodies. Gorilla Monsoon. I like guys Just, with bodies. Yeah, I like... <laughs> don't with forget... A load of limbs in the fucking ring. Don't right? forget the um, one in the final as well. Who wants it the worst? Worst, yeah. yeah. The, Gorilla Monsoon, man, was not on form tonight. He no. was awful. I think he bit the bar before. No. I mean, just as a little thing for people at home, we discussed it during the WrestleMania. Just to show the age of this WrestleMania, um, here's a few stars. We are three WrestleManias away from Undertaker and Shawn Michaels debuting. Four away from Owen Hart. That's eight away from Stone Cold and Triple H. Nine from The Rock. And for all you guys that only know new wrestling, we are 16 manias away from John Cena. 16 years, And man. 19 away from CM Punk. That's how far back we're starting. And we just... It, it hurts. It really hurts. I can't wait to get to the teens when it gets really and do they, They're going to get gradually longer, aren't they? I mean, I just... Yeah. I just can't wait to get to... When we start getting a bit more better in-ring work, because we're still getting that clunky, bumpy... Old, everyone's roided up. This you can tell big man style on steroids. Or I mean, you look at David Boy Smith, uh, uh, Butch Reed, Don, Don Morocco. <laughs> everyone's gassed up, man. Yeah. Hogan. I mean, even Savage. You can tell he's been having some. I mean, it's just fucking awful, man. No one can move around. So my kid just looks like a fucking someone just got a basketball. And, Oh, dy- uh, another little thing I have to say. Dynamite Kid showed his promo skills tonight. Oh, God. They were not good. They the People used to moan. School, people used to moan about Benoit's promo skills. Mm. You know? Well, that, the Bulldogs, they could... You know, all the promo snipes, all the backstage promos were sucked ass. Oh, the, the Hulk Hogan's. It was the... That's weird. It must be the infamous promo of how Donald Trump is... Doggy paddling mm. away from Trump yeah, Plaza. If he lets go of all his material possessions, brother. Yeah, and then. No, oh, doggy paddle. Everyone grab the largest pack in the world, dude. And I'll just. I, I can't like, help. I can't shit? help but feel that that promo had like an undertone of religion underneath it. You know, yeah, if he let something. go of all of his materials, then Hulkamania will come along and save him. There's a bit of a religious undertone. Did you not like Hulk's face when he came to the ring? He's like a a fucking baboon. (laughs) 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 Fucking. (laughs) At this WrestleMania, there was more to laugh at than it was to watch. It was comic foil, man. Just looking back now, I saw it from the 80s. Fucking men with bodies. What is up with that? What? Do you expect arms to be wrestling? Just random (laughs) limbs (laughs) in the ring. It's don't like let, don't let gorilla Monsoon half an hour at down. a time of just shit, <laughs> and then something funny would happen oh, that would just take the um, the, the pain oh, away. It was just boring. <laughs> right, we're gonna yeah. have to get down to him. So, match of the night. Do, is there a match of the night? Randy Savage, Greg the Hammer Valentine. There you go. Yeah, Sam. I don't know. I just no. Sorry. I I'd, I'd have to go to the final. Just, just to pick a match, any match. Um, Superstar of the night. Savage. Easy. Chipmunk. Matilda. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, Savage. He wrestled four matches. No, he was That's good. insane. He was getting gassed. Yeah, exactly. Um, obviously, the phrase of the night for me is body. The yeah. men with bodies. It's gotta be. You can't men be anything else. bodies. And I don't know. Vanna White. Hulk Hogan's the man. Mm-hmm. I like him. I like Hogan. Yeah, after he'd just gone out of the tournament. Yeah. Don't forget, I said he's the man. <laughs> he's looking Fucking at hell. And how things like, yeah, but now it's a bye. That means I don't have to wrestle. I'm not going on a mini rant here. Okay, that normally means that I'm just about to. So, yeah. But Strapping. you know, you know how people bitch and complain about how Triple H has his fingers all over the product. You know, from like 2000, I'd even say 99 to now to present day. Yeah. Does it not feel that this WrestleMania, it was just all fucking Hogan? Yeah. It did not matter what it was. Everything was about getting he had Hogan. To have. He was everything. You had, like you said, that white woman, not that wasn't a colour thing. Her last name was White, um, saying, oh, yeah, I like Hogan. Even after he'd gone out of the fucking tournament, he was part of the main event. He was part of the, well, the only feud that got a promo video was the Hogan Andre the Giant. He had that promo. He was everywhere. He was fucking everywhere. 
Fuck Hogan. Arsehole. I hate him. It's, it's just too long. Something tells me I'm not going to like the next few WrestleManias. I think, I, I from memory, the WrestleManias get better now. Next WrestleMania 5, they better. Once we get out of Trump Plaza, we're getting to WrestleMania 6, 7, 8. We're going to be alright. We'll see them progressively get better. If we just yeah, jumped in at the good right. ones, it would be good and fun. But anyway, I want WrestleMania any, 10. Anyway, have we got WrestleMania moment tonight? Yeah, the Andre the Giant strangling that yeah. really annoying backstage guy. Same. Yeah, probably the same. Cause not, I, I uh, haven't even it's seen the only that one before. you ever see. Yeah, exactly. For, for me, it was just the appearance of the Ultimate Warrior. That was a bit of magic. That was Aww. like, yeah. Dun 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 I still think that we should give this WrestleMania a thumbs up. Though. Rick Rude thumbs up. That's Rick what Rude's I think we should do. Up, yeah, a Rick man. Rude thumbs up. Definitely. I'm still giving it a 1 out of 10. But a Rick Rude thumbs up. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Chipmunk, give... what do you give it? 1 out of 10. Generous. Bloody hell. That's like the worst out of 10 I've ever seen you give. Do you give it a Rick Rude thumbs up? No? Oh, she gives it a Rick Rude thumbs down. <laughs> 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 Rick Rude thumbs down. Stop what, it. what do you oh, give it, James? You know what, man? I can't even. <laughs> what do you rate this one? Minus five Minus stars! Minus five stars! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Minus five stars! Minus you know what? five stars. You know what we didn't have in this WrestleMania? What right? did we have? Iron Sheik. Oh! Iron Sheik! We had. Um, Where was he? Was he out? Was he, was he we had Volkov. No, Sheik. Is he already out of it all? I, don't know, I think he might have been out of this one for drug suspension or some shit. There was a lot of shit going on with drugs and stuff, wasn't there? Mm. Well, when does, um... Was it The Rock is it debut, isn't it? With Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that is the debut of Shawn Michaels in the Sweet. free one. And then we obviously got um, Taker coming in here and stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was WrestleMania 4. Yeah. We will be back, hopefully, with a better review for WrestleMania 5. Sorry if we just seem so flat, but we just... This we have just, just literally crap. gone through three hours of non-stop mat- fighting. This, is, this has felt like I've just watched... 20 freaking, uh, 20, I don't know. Like 10 episodes of WWE main event. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like, or superstars, oh. or even heat back in the day. But yeah, Boring. that was WrestleMania 4. We're moving on to WrestleMania 5, which I believe the main event of WrestleMania 5 is, is, basically, is the mega powers colliding. Yeah, well, this is the story. This WrestleMania, without any spoilers, this WrestleMania, obviously, with Elizabeth coming down with Hogan, is the start of the storyline and Savage's heel turn where it does get hotted up and there's yeah, some great build up dude. some great build up for yeah. WrestleMania 5 Savage versus Hogan as the main event yeah. gonna be brilliant so we will see you for that one hopefully we're a bit happier um, I probably won't because it's got Hulk Hogan on it and we still but haven't seen the rock no, yet just keep giving them thumbs up yeah, man. but we're giving it a Rick Rude thumbs up we give you a lot of thumbs up please continue to watch and you know what you know what the thumbs up also means like this video with a thumbs up. Okay. Not thumbs down. Not thumbs Two down. thumbs. Two thumbs in like that. <laughs> Not a thumbs down. I thumbs just like up. That. Okay. So we will see you tomorrow for WrestleMania 5. Bye. <laughs>